The future of recreation in Madison County is facing some opposition in its early stages. Eyewitness News 3's Braden Wilson shows us where the questions are coming from. A proposal for a county recreation district in Madison County could be on the ballot soon. However, before it even gets to voters, Sugar City City Council is opposing the current proposal. Mayor Stephen Adams says the council is worried how it will be funded. They're saying they're against this proposal for a recreation district. Mm -hmm. Because what it looks like coming down is that you, when it was a Rexburg proposal, they had a location, they had a building design, and now it's that same location, same building design, but the whole county gets to pay for it. Mayor Adams says taxes shouldn't be considered for the rec center. I believe that rec centers are fantastic for communities, mm -hmm. and I would love to have one in Sugar, in Rexburg, anywhere in the county. Those can be provided through for-profit or non-profit organizations. Adams adds taxes are not meant to be used for fun activities. One of the old economic philosophers called it legalized plunder. Mm -hmm. And that's what it is. It's just plundering your neighbor for something you think is a good idea. And it doesn't make it any more holy and righteous by washing it in democracy. It just doesn't. It's still theft. Direct District's campaign committee chair, Kaylee Fryer, says everyone needs to be informed and it will show they need a rec center. So I think in the end it'll be the people that'll show any Sugar City, Rexburg, the county that we want this and we're willing to do the work to get it on the ballot. She adds while no one likes the idea of property taxes rising, it shouldn't be too much of a burden. That's not something someone's ever going to be excited about, even if it's a cent more. But this one is going to be $4.27 per $100,000 of property value. And then, of course, you can take out the $125,000 that you get in tax exemption. So the average property here in Madison County will see about $8.54 a month raised to cover the rec district. Fryer says the earliest it would appear on a ballot is in May. But in the meantime, the committee plans to continue to talk to people and gather signatures. In Madison County, I'm Braden Wilson. Mayor Adams says if the district is created and property taxes are used, he hopes the funding would be used responsibly.